Okay, hey everyone. Welcome to our team call. I feel like I'm already living in 2016 because it's basically all I'm talking about right now. But I oh, like my lipstick. I feel like I needed a little something today to make me excited. So purple lipstick it is. <laughs> so I wanted to welcome so many of the new faces that are on this call tonight. I'm really excited for the 2016 team that we're going to be rocking out with. There's some truly amazing things happening, not just within our team, but within the company. And so a lot of you are going to be able to experience and learn and hear about a lot of things that even I haven't experienced myself. So I won't spill too many beans yet, but I have an awesome presentation for you guys. But just real quick, I wanted to thank everyone that has been around for 2013, 14, and 15. It's been a really amazing last two and a half years and I feel like we're just getting started. I remember when I called my coach and I said, I think I'm going to open a team page. I think I'm going to call it Dream Court. And it was me and like my best friend Katie and that's pretty much it. And now we have a downline of 889 coaches. Whether they're active or not in this business, you guys have done a tremendous job of changing lives and putting other people first. So I'm so proud of everyone. I could sit here literally for 45 minutes and just congratulate you guys on a million things, but I'm excited for the next year and the way that my brain operates is I'm always thinking about what's next and how can I be a better leader and how can I provide more for you guys? And I'm kind of at that transitional point in my business too where I'm still learning how to lead. So. Um, it's pretty amazing all the leaders that are stepping up and creating their own teams. And so you might think that you're so far away from that. And I want to let you know that time flies. And before you know it, you're going to realize that you've been leading the entire time anyway. So 2016 will be cool. Everyone's going to start branching off in their own little, um, brand and team. Sorry, my phone's blowing up. I want to make sure someone wasn't telling you they couldn't hear me or something. Okay, so we're recording December 30th. I feel like December, I blinked and it was gone. All right, I'm gonna share my screen. All right, so let me see if I can make this big. Enter full screen. Hold on, I can't see you guys. When I just did that, could you guys see it? Thumbs up? Okay, cool. I'm gonna go back then to full screen. Okay, so as you guys know me, I absolutely adore and love making these presentations. So this was fun for me, and I spent a lot of time yesterday trying to think of what I could, sh what, I was trying to think of what I could share with you guys to really help you plan out your year ahead. Because sometimes when you think of a whole year, you're like, oh, I've got plenty of time. But in reality, in this business, January, because we're in the health and fitness industry, is the most important month. So I want you guys to know that this isn't, you know, 2016 probably still sounds super far away. We're gonna even be talking about some 2017 stuff in here. So time flies. And I want you to know that January, February, March are actually some of the most important months in this business. So when we get off this webinar, you have to think about starting to take action now. So the first thing I want to share with you guys is, you know, you know me, I'm a preacher. And in this business, the first thing that I learned early on is that if I don't change the way I think and the way I believe and the vision I have for this business, which is my own business, not Beachbody, my own business, if I didn't focus on the vision that I had, um, it wasn't going to be possible. So if you join this team on a mission to change your life, whether it's I want to be home with my family, I want to supplement my income, I'd love to be able to play, pay for my Shakeology. I want to change 1 million lives, whatever that is for you. If you don't start by asking yourself and reminding yourself that it is possible for you to have whatever it is you want in life, 
it's going to be really hard for you to even start to chip away at your goals. So that's really the first question I have for you guys. You do know it's possible, right? Because I talk to so many coaches, so many people that either want to join my team or have joined my team, and it's honestly just their mindset and their belief that just gets in their way every single day. They'll do good for a week, and then their self-doubt creeps back in. And I want you to know that there's no difference between you and I, other than I put up with a lot more shit, excuse my French, than most people. I put up with a lot more failure, a lot more obstacles. Um, that doesn't make me better. It just means that I've worked really hard on my mindset, and I'm willing to really dive into personal development, and I openly accept failure. So... I want you to kind of stop and ask yourself. So before you even hopped on this webinar, what were you thinking? Are you thinking like, oh yeah, 2016, it's gonna be all right. I have, you know, maybe I'll do better. I want you to think as big as you possibly can. And I actually found out a really crazy, staggering fact about Team Beach Body Coaching. And this is not to scare you, but this is just to be honest with you, because a lot of people sign up to do something until they realize how hard it is and then they're like, oh yeah, no, this isn't for me because it's, it's hard work. Just because it's fun and health and fitness doesn't mean that it's not a difficult business to grow. 97% of people quit. Now here's how I see that percentage. And my, from the way I think, I would say, I do not want to be in that percentage. I do not, I refuse to be the person that is considered to be the quitter because that's the way I operate. I can't stand letting someone think that I gave up or that, you know, it just didn't work out. When I signed up as a new coach, people, you know, Beachbody wasn't as popular as it is now. So people were really like, what are you doing? Are you sure? I came from corporate America. And so I refuse to let anyone else think anything else other than I was going to make this happen. So there's 3% that decide to stick around and make something of this business. And that is actually the, the percentage that this team is in out of all Beachbody. We're actually in the 0.00001%, but top 3%. So ask yourself, where am I going to be? Am I going to be in the 97% or the 3% that sticks around and puts up with this? And I put the number 100 into there because I wanted to show, to share with you guys kind of my um, I don't want to say failure rate because that is not the right word, but um, I've been willing to invest my time and energy and love and effort into 102 people. That's how many people that are either currently active or whether that's with the business or just in general in my business, out of all my business centers, 102 people and only five of them are currently diamonds. So if you're a new coach, a diamond coach might not mean much to you, but think about that. I've had to sign up 102 people and take my time and show them the way, and only a very small percentage, basically that 3%, have done something with this. So it doesn't, you guys probably look at my business and say, oh, well, Colleen can do it because she's Colleen. No, I've just taken the time to recruit a lot of people, and I find the few rock stars that want to stick around and do this. So that's, I love numbers. 97% of people quit. Where are you going to stand? Are you going to be the 3% or the 97%? So a lot of people ask me in this business, what is the secret to success? I really want to know. Um, you might think that I sit here all day and people just message me and they're like, hey, I want to sign up. No, it doesn't always work like that. I have to do a lot of back-end work. I have to share my story every day. I have to read my personal development. I have to do my workouts. I have to do everything like everyone else. But the thing that I do share with people as far as what the secret is, it's not that secret, is you do need to have faith. And having faith is something that's hard to grasp, as, especially as a new coach, because someone tells you to have faith and you're like, but how? You have to start believing in the unknown. So you're going to you're going to be doing all this work and you're going to be um, doing everything we say and you might feel like it's not working. So you need to still have faith that even though you feel like it's not working just yet, you have to have patience and keep going. That is the secret that most people miss out on. 
So in the beginning, you're kind of working for peanuts. And I'm going to actually pull up some numbers for you guys later on today. But having the patience and the faith in, and the faith in the unknown is something you must do in any business, not just beach body coaching. And then this third point here I learned from Tony Robbins, engaging in consistent action. So this isn't just like, you know, showing up on the team call, reading your personal development and doing all the things you're supposed to. You have to fully immerse yourself. So I think it's always funny, right? So we can even use the new year, for example. When someone says, hey, I'm going to try to go to the gym this year. And how long does that last? Or maybe I'm going to try to be a beach body coach this year. Trying doesn't get you too far, but, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully you don't start coughing. Fully immersing yourself and saying, I'm all in. I'm not looking back. I'm moving forward. Every single day, I'm going to do this. I'm going to have faith. I'm going to have patience. I'm going to trust in Colleen and the company because why? Other people have achieved success with this. That's the part you have to believe in. If someone else has done this, I can do this too. No matter how hard it gets, you will make it. And I, I had to remind myself of this these last few months. Life wants to throw me every curveball that there is in the entire world right now, including my best coaches quitting, saying, Colleen, I'm not coaching anymore. I have had people who I know have potential that have still not even tapped into the, a small percentage of what they can put out there, and they quit, or they give up, or they tell me they can't do it. And so for me, that's hard. Every single day, that kind of pokes at me more and more and more. But I know that if I focus on my actions and keep going, I will make it. Two and a half years in, guys, that's how I know. So a lot of people feel like they want to give up and they want to do something else. Well, no matter how hard it gets, I promise you will make it. Um, and easy is not an option. So I'm sorry if you signed up thinking that you were not going to face more struggle and every single day decisions of, hmm, I don't know if I should do my workout today. I kind of feel like I want to go out to dinner. Or I don't really know if I should hop on the team call today. Uh, I'm going to go out with my friends. Or this weekend, I'm going to take the weekend off. Easy is not an option if you want to be successful in this business. Sorry. I don't know if that's new news or bad news, but it's not. So we kind of just really have to get over that. So when you kind of ask, what am I doing wrong? You're doing nothing wrong. This is just hard. I want to talk a little bit about some characteristics of a leader because again, the way that my brain is wired is when I talk to successful people and when I ask them for advice or when I read a book, if someone was to tell me, if I do these things, I will be successful. I'm the type of person who's like, okay, I'm going to go and do this. So I've read a lot about what it takes to be a leader. And although I'm not perfect, I have so much work to do. I know that these are some of the characteristics that you kind of have to give yourself a little gut check. Are you honest? Um, so I know that's probably a duh statement, but when you're sharing, are you being honest? And by that I mean, uh, you know, today my grandmother passed away, and so when people ask me, are you okay? Or, you know, how are you staying so positive? I'm just being honest about how I feel, and because I've done so much personal development, I'm always able to find the positive. So a lot of people worry about, you know, Colleen, I'm having the worst day ever. How can I be positive and inspiring on social media? I want you to be you. If you ate a donut today, don't go out there and say, oh, I was perfect on my meal plan today. You need to be showing your true, true colors at all times. And that's typically hard for a lot of people to get vulnerable because it shows everything. It shows your imperfections. And that can be scary for some people. <clears throat> Excuse me. You need to be able to delegate. So as you're bringing people onto your team and as you have challengers in your challenge groups, if you cannot successfully delegate something to someone, you're not going to be able to really lead a team. So that's something that you won't really have to deal with until down the road. But the, again, I just want you guys to know all the characteristics that you need to be focusing on for 2016. How's your communication? This is something that really cracks me up. Because me, I'm an over-communicator. So my coach, my upline Elizabeth, she, we're like polar opposite personalities. And so she's very humble and quiet and sheltered. And I'm just like all out there energetic. But in this business, communication is key. 
If you don't understand something, you need to find, you need to reach out and ask. You need to be communicating with the team. Um, don't be the fly on the wall. That is the worst thing that you could do. Um, because then you tend to just be a collector of knowledge and that doesn't really help. Are you asking your upline questions? Are you scheduling calls with them? These are the things that a leader does. Your upline is not going to be telling you to do these things. Why? Because we want you guys to be independent and kind of figure it out on your own. So here I am telling you guys now what to do, but I'm not going to be sitting there micromanaging everyone or everything. And your upline won't either. Are you confident? And most people in general are not. It took me a long time to understand how to be confident without having the ego thing. Um, and that came all through personal development. So if you're new to this business and you're kind of like, why am I hearing about these things? We should be talking about doing push-ups and stuff like that or Shakeology or how to sell. I'm here to tell you that this business is about personal growth. Straight up in every single way, you will be successful if you decide to actually um, invest your time and commitment into personal growth. Are you committed? And by that, I mean, you know, I tried to think back to how many calls I've missed, how many team calls I've missed for 2015. I was on vacation for a couple, it was my birthday, I got married, or I was on an airplane. But for the most part, I'm committed. Wednesday night, guys, I'm not scheduling anything else because this is where I am, I'm committed. Even when I don't feel like doing my workout, I do it anyway. When I don't feel like doing my personal development, I do it anyway. Having a positive attitude, even when you feel like your day is crumbling. Again, today was really hard. For me and I still was like all right I have to show up and I have to do this webinar for my team because that's what a leader does um, being creative so this is something that a lot of people ask where I get my creativity from and I was I'm actually living at my mother-in-law's house right now and I was telling her that I'm kind of lacking some creativity lately I feel like I used to come up with all these awesome webinars and so I had nothing up until yesterday but in and so what I did was I dove into personal development I got on YouTube I listened to a whole bunch of motivational videos. I watched some top coach videos and boom, all my creativity came back. So do you guys see how personal growth is really truly tied to how you can be creative in this business? And a great example that I'm gonna talk about many times in this webinar is Candace on our team, Candace Rogers. She is so creative with her personal development and how she ties that to everything she shares online. And that's why she has such a great following. Taking initiative. So this is something that a lot of people are not born with, but um, we try to provide all the systems that we can for you guys. But just because we don't tell you that you should be doing step one, two, three, doesn't mean that you just sit there and wait for your upline to tell you what to do. Think outside the box. What can I be doing to grow my business? Kind of goes along with the word responsible. Um, if it's only your responsibility to grow this business. It's not my responsibility. It's not your upline's responsibility. It's yours. Being inspiring and authentically you, pretty straightforward. But if you are not changing, if you don't feel like you're an inspiring person, you're like, how am I going to do that? If you are not changing and committed and personally growing, it's going to be really hard to feel inspiring. But if you're out there and you just did, let's say, Insanity Max 30 for the last 60 days, and you feel stronger than ever, stronger than ever, you're going to be sharing that. You're definitely not going to be hiding that. You're not going to feel scared to share that with people. You're going to be like, I feel like a badass. So that will allow you to authentically be you, which it's inspiring to people when you're just you, because not a lot of people are out there being bold and courageous. And then <clears throat> the other one is, are you approachable? So when you're sharing online, do you make it known that People can reach out to you, that they can connect with you, that you can help them grow a business, that you can help them change their life. You have to make sure that you're very approachable. I know this slide's kind of long, I'm trying to go fast, but I wanted to make sure I put this out there for you guys. And then the last one um, is being real. So this is important. Write it on your whiteboard, write it on the top of your binder. As a leader, you need to be real. You need to be relentless in remembering why you signed up. The reason I signed up is because I wanted to earn six figures, not at a corporate job, and I wanted to be able to have the freedom to travel the world and be with my husband every single day. That's what I wanted. So I relentlessly worked for my why. You need to be enthusiastic. If I go to your Facebook and I'm reading what you're up to, 
do I feel your emotion that comes through? Do I feel like, ooh, I'm gonna check in with this person tomorrow. They post some really great stuff. You should make people crave your social media. You need to be assertive. Being assertive in your posts and being confident in what you're sharing as a Beachbody coach, it's gonna really help you um, to be an independent coach. And by that I mean, again, not relying always on your upline. So when I'm sharing what I feel, I don't care what anyone else says. And so push the envelope a little bit. Be assertive and confident in what you're sharing. And the last one is love. You need to love people. You need to stop worrying about yourself so much. And I know that kind of sounds a little harsh, but you need to love on others. There are multiple new coaches that have joined the team in the last month or so. And I will straight up tell you that I had my eye on them because I think that they are awesome. There was something about their profile that drew me to them. And I reached out to them and I connected with them. And I loved on them because I felt a connection. And so if you're not out there loving on others, you're probably not going to create that team culture like we have here. So spread the love. All right. I want to talk a little bit about discipline because it's probably another topic that people ask about all the time. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Still getting over this cold. So as a brand new coach, it's very easy not to do the work, but it's also very easy to do the work. So when we talk about building up your momentum and building up your success habits, a lot of people ask me, how did you do it, Colleen? And I read the coolest thing in a book the other day, and it's the perfect, perfect example. And it's so weird because two nights ago, this just happened to me. So how do you stop a nightmare? When you're actually in a dream and you're having a nightmare, what do you have to do to get out of that nightmare? You have to literally physically pull yourself out of that nightmare, right? I know that you all know what I'm talking about. You're just like, okay, I have to get out. And you have to start moving your body and you have to pull yourself out of it. And you're like, holy shit, that was crazy. That is how you build up habits as a business coach. You have to almost physically force yourself to say, I'm sitting down, I'm turning off my cell phone, and I'm going to do my power hour. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to lace up my shoes, and I'm going to put my fitness clothes on, and I'm going to go do my workout. So that is how you build up momentum, and that is how you build habits. And I want you guys to think of that. The next time that you feel like you don't want to do something, remember what it takes to be successful. So in order to be successful, it all sums up to habits. So how long do you waste scrolling on social media? How many nights a week are you going out with your friends? Um, and I know that I kind of am a stickler about making sacrifices, and I'm not telling you guys to not have a life. I'm not telling you to sacrifice time with your family. Or I, There are going to be times that you need to, but it's going to pay off for you so that later down the road you have more freedom. Success is never owned. It's rented, and the rent is due every day. So if you are following any top coaches, and this is something that I observe all the time, is that Melanie Mitro was top coach last year. She could have coasted through 2015, still earned the same money probably. She probably wouldn't have rank advanced to Superstar Diamond 3, um, but she's still the top coach, and it's honestly because she shows up every single day. She never takes um, any, sorry, my dogs are barking. She never takes any of her success for granted. And I want you guys to know that every single day, trying to get my dog to stop. Sorry. Hold on, guys. Zufa. No. Sorry. Craziness. <laughs> um, so showing up every single day. I know I say that over and over again. But um, so this is just a little graphic here for you guys to kind of understand. So maybe 2015, you stepped a little out of your comfort zone. Maybe signing up for you was a huge deal. Maybe 2015 for you, you really just had no direction. I am pleading you guys to allow yourself the opportunity through coaching, through your fitness journey, through this business, to step even further outside of your comfort zone. So all I make a list. Make a list of the things that you know you're supposed to be doing, but you're too scared to do them. 
If you're a brand new coach, if you've been a coach for a year maybe and you didn't really dive into this too much, there are so many things that we can do to work together. And they're not going to be huge, big, scary things. It's just taking little steps. And over time, for the entire year, that's going to build up. And that's going to have a lot to do with your success. All right, I want to talk about what is the goal of coaching. So when, when you close your eyes and you think about my beach body business, what are the things that you should be focusing on to create a successful business? The first thing you need to focus on is your journey. Your journey means your health and fitness. How serious are you? Do you have before and after photos or descriptions or a story to tell? It doesn't have to be pounds, it doesn't have to be inches, but you do need to be changing and committed and to your health and fitness journey. Your journey also has to do with the trainings we provide. When's the last time that maybe you've gone through a training or sat down and educated yourself further about this company? Your journey is your social media and your sharing. So again, this is like to still point one for your journey, but your social media and what you share is probably the number one thing I focus on all day. When I'm going through my day of what I need to do, I'm not even kidding, 50% of my day is thinking about what I'm sharing online because my business is 100% on social media. Um, and then events. So if you're not committed to getting to a Beachbody event, if you're not going to Super Saturdays, if you're not committed to going on the Success Club trips, if you're not committed to going to Summit, it's really gonna put a damper on your journey as a Beachbody coach. How committed are you to your challenge groups? So that's kind of one section. <coughs> Excuse me. Your journey as a Beachbody coach. The second thing that is very important is your leadership. How committed are you to your personal development? How committed are you to your coachability? And by that I mean, when you work with your upline, and if you're one of my personally sponsored coaches, you guys know I'm very direct. I'd say, you know, maybe you should have said something like this in your post, or let's try this next time. And so the ones who take my advice and actually apply it and listen are the ones that are successful. Um, in your leadership, are you taking initiative? Are you being giving? And what I, what I mean by that is, there's a lot of things that I do that I don't need to for other teams, for other coaches that reach out to me all the time and I take time out of my day because I'm a leader, that's what leaders do. So I want you to kind of get out of the dream corp little bubble, although we have so many amazing people, and you need to, like absolutely need to start connecting with other people. I started speaking at other Super Saturdays and that's how I've learned from other teams that are doing awesome things. You need to be stepping out of your comfort zone. If you're not being bold and courageous, it's going to be really hard to step into a leadership role. Are you creating a brand? So creating a brand, very simple. What do you want to offer people? For me, I want to offer people a free life to live their life as they want, and they don't have to be tied to a job that they don't like, and I want them to be happy and healthy. That's in a nutshell. That's my brand. What do you want to give people? That is what your brand is. Um, and then rank advancing. So people have this stigma about rank advancing in their business. I've taught a lot of you guys that rank is not everything. Being a 10 star diamond is not everything. Because if you are here for income, your rank doesn't necessarily mean what you're gonna be earning. But as a leader, you do need to be growing and advancing and committed to rank advancing in your business. Okay, building a team. And I have a star there with the number five because I want to use an example with you guys that completely changed my life and business in terms of being a coach. When we say build a team, most people would think that you would need 10 bajillion coaches. I'm here to tell you that if you're an A player and you're a rock star coach, you really only need to duplicate yourself five times. So there's billions of people in this world. I need you to focus on finding five yous. If you can find five other people like you and that are as committed as you, you will have a successful business. I'm a five-star diamond and I have more than five rock stars, but I have helped five people create solid businesses that will give and give and give to them for years to come. And that is why I'm successful because I've helped five other people do that. 
If you help 10 people, awesome. But you really only need sometimes even two, but five is the magic number. So what's the goal? Yes, we're helping people with health and fitness, but if you only stop there, you're really missing out on so much potential in, the, in this business. I help people, I would say 50% of the people that I sign up each month are for health and fitness. They come to me and they're like, all right, I have a wedding in five months, let's do this. They want nothing to do with coaching. That's totally fine. Of course I'm gonna help them. And then 50% of the people that I bring on board are here to rock this business because I unapologetically share what this business has done for me and I wanna give that to people. So focusing on your journey, your leadership, building a team, and then the last one is Success Club. So I wrote in my notes here for Success Club, what is your agenda? So when I wake up in the morning, I have two things on my mind. I wanna crush my workout, and I wanna find more people that wanna do this business. Those two things together will help me hit Success Club because I'm a health and fitness coach and I'm talking about the business I'm building. Success Club is the center and the foundation of this business. I'm gonna share with you guys some numbers too in a second, but Success Club is everything. If you're shooting for five, I think that's great, but you guys are really shooting yourself in the foot by saying, I'm shooting for Success Club five. Why not go for 10? The difference between helping three people and five people is really just a little bit more effort. So it's all perspective in how you see this. Um, you have to be relentlessly fighting for Success Club every single month. There have been times that I have actually, even this month, just barely made Success Club 10 by the last hour of the day. I will work relentlessly because I'm not missing Success Club 10. And the reason you wanna hit Success Club 10 over five is because your business will grow, grow faster, you're helping more people change lives, and then your odds, remember that number I showed you, 102 people? The odds of you finding someone who eventually does want to coach are a lot higher when you're hitting Success Club 10. And then I happen to get like an extra thousand dollars to spend on the groups. That's just like the icing on the cake. But there are many benefits to being a, hitting Success Club 10. All right, so 2016 goals. Welcome to Dream a Little Bigger Land. When I talk to people and they fill out my new coach questionnaire and I ask them, why do you want to be a coach? This is typically the answer I get. I wanna help people achieve their goals and I would love to inspire others and earn some money. They start, they, they're already thinking the ifs. If I could earn some money with this, that would be great. I need you to throw all of that out and I want you guys to be like, if I could earn $500 a week with this, my life would forever be changed because I can save money to pay off a house or I can put it away in a college fund or if I could help 10 people this month, I'm actually thinking even bigger in terms of 30 people this month, um, my life will also be changed. So you really have to start pushing the envelope with your dreaming a little bit more. The name of our team is Dream Corp, and I named it that for a reason. So I think society and standard jobs and our upbringing from our families, they kind of just, you know, dumb our dreams down just a little bit because they're like, yeah, honey, well, that would be nice, but I'm truly showing my family and not even just mom and dad, but everyone in my family what's possible with this because I had the vision and I believed. I didn't give a hoot if anyone cared about this at all. I knew what I wanted. So if you guys have a passion like I do, that's all that matters. And I hope that if you have any negative Nancys in your life, um, get rid of them or or prove to them what you're going to do with this business. You can't get rid of them. Um, I want you to set goals that sound like this. And so <clears throat> some people would say, I'd love to pay off my car, or I'd love to be able to take my husband on a vacation, or I'd love to be able to take my kids to Disneyland. Like, I want you to have some emotion behind these goals. Why? Because those are the things that are going to help you and push you work a lot harder. Um, you want to reverse engineer your goals. So with that being said, if I was to say I want to recruit 20 coaches a month on my team, I would know how many people I need to be adding on social media. I would know how many people that I need to be talking to every day, and we're going to get to that in a second. I would know how many posts I need to do a day. 
I would know how much money I need to invest into my Facebook like page. So that's what reverse engineering is. So don't just put a goal up on a board expecting it to just all happen. You need to know and understand the types of goals that you set. Your actions have to match them. So how many success club points each month? I hope you all put 10. Get obsessed with that number 10. Five is cool if you, and I'm not like, you know, say anything bad about hitting success club 10, but I'm here to do huge things with awesome people. And so we're going to shoot for the stars. Um, I'm a numbers person just because I'm wowed. Like I'm, I don't love money. I actually hate money. So when I talk about money and numbers and things like that with you guys, know where my inspiration comes from. My inspiration comes from that I'm earning such an amazing income doing something I love and I'm not at a job that I hate. Like I worked at a corporate job that I absolutely hated. So if I'm asking you like how much money do you want to earn with this? I want you to stop thinking like, ew, money, ick. Don't have a bad relationship with achieving something awesome by helping other people. You'd be very surprised when you start to dive into this Beachbody community, how many lives have been changed from the in income of this business. Someone posted in our leader page today that without Beachbody, she would have not had a second child. And I felt like I had a lump in my throat when she said that I wanted to cry because she didn't earn enough money or she didn't feel comfortable bringing another baby into this world. And because of Beachbody, she just had another baby girl this morning and she said, thank you, Beachbody. So when we talk about the thank you Beachbody post that you can make, it's not about thank you Beachbody, you, you bought my beach house. It is so much bigger than that. Do you have any trips planned? Maybe you want to cut hours back at your current job so that you can freely spend time with your family. Or for some people on this team, me included, um, you know, we want to be able to retire our husbands and live an awesome life with them, but still be able to work this business. And the beauty of this business, guys, is I've worked hard for two and a half years. Now I can actually only have to work 10 to 20 hours a week, and that's like a lot. And I'll still be earning and compounding my money every single month. It's pretty amazing. And 2016 goals. We don't really have too many people who have set any goals to be an elite coach. An elite coach is a top coach in Beachbody. It means that you create a team and you teach them how to hit success club. There are points that have a lot to do with being an elite coach and you need to be a five-star diamond, but all I want you to know is help two to five people grow a successful business, have them be committed and um, excited and engaged like you. You need to be recruiting a team and you will have an amazing business. So think big. Don't think of it as like, oh, I just want to hit success club five. I'd love to earn my Shakeology. Dream a little bigger. Okay, so now I'm going to exit this. I want to share with you guys. Oh, I thought I already had it up. I want to share with you guys some numbers. <coughs> and the reason I want to share these numbers is because I remember being a new coach and I remember thinking that my coach, who now earns pretty much a quarter of a million dollars as a beach body coach, and I never thought that she had to go through the ups and downs like I did. So I want to go, and all you need to know, oh, and the reason I had on my slides um, that overwhelmed is a choice, as you can see right here, is because you might look at this and be like, oh my God, I have no idea what this is, what's going on. All you need to know in this business is the more people that I help and the more people that I teach this business, the more my income and my numbers go up. So you don't really need to understand what these numbers mean, but you just need to have an awesome team like you guys for yourself. Okay, so I signed up July 2013. So this is my volume, by the way, guys. Okay, this is all you really need to know. I just want you to see a snapshot of where I was. So let's see. So July to December. Just so you guys know, um, a bag of Shakeology is 90 volume points. So this is pretty much what the team sold in terms of Shakeology or challenge packs or anything like that. So the volume points, there's even things on there that are worth like 15 volume points. So I think the highest volume is about 150 volume. So this is the team. So 
six months in, I had things like 90 volume, 425 volume. Really not that much. I made $14 that day. That's what I made. <laughs> not that much. So let's fast forward a year. Okay. So now we're looking at, you know, 1400 on one side, we have a left leg and a right leg, and then about 3000 on the other leg. So that's, you know, about 30 bags of Shakeology. All right, cool. And that's not even just me. That's all my team below me. So let's fast forward another year. So that was July. So see how it's really starting to jump up. And you guys can look at the progression. It goes from 2,000 to 3,000 to 4 to 5 to 6. And then we're really starting to get up. We have 13,000 up here. And you also see the ups and downs. So I go from 7, sorry, I'm trying to highlight this. I go from 7,000 in November on one leg to 16,000 just a few weeks later. And then I drop back down to seven. Then we jump back up to 13,000. It's a lot of Shakeology sold, by the way. But I want you to know that it's taken me a long time to progress up. So this is where a lot of people quit when they're at like this 900 mark and they're kind of like, this is not worth my time. I've been doing this for six months and not much is happening. You have to spend a lot of time doing this. So. Someone told me, be here a year from now. And so I said, okay. And I didn't know what I was doing. We didn't have the trainings you guys have. So it took me a lot longer. And I also have a business account underneath my husband too. So I have, uh, once you hit two star diamond in this business, Beachbody actually allows you to open another business center, which is pretty cool. Um, another thing I want to share with you guys is every single month I hit success club, 10. So December 2015, I hit 12. I'm not gonna go through every single month, but March 2015, 10. July 2015, 15. Okay, so a lot of people say, how do you make so much money doing this? I help a lot of people. Um, and then, I mean, I'll show you guys, this is just in my first business center. Um, but in the beginning, I earned zero dollars, fourteen dollars, a hundred and ten dollars, and it's the same in my husband's account, my other business center too. And now every single month in my first business center, this is kind of what I'm averaging. So this is weekly, every week, and there's also some dips. Um, I can't see you guys in Zoom. Do you guys have any? Oh, it doesn't show me the chat. Okay, so that's my numbers, guys. Some people get excited for numbers, but um, oh, we have a few more slides, and then if you guys have questions. I think that's all I want to show you for numbers. Success club, volume, commissions. Um, yeah. Okay, share screen. All right, so how... Let me close this in the background. A lot of people are probably asking, so how on earth do I actually earn an income? How do I find these people? What do I do? It comes down to the magical thing that we all talk about, and this is in your training. And if you work with me as your coach or your upline, we will show you how to actually physically do this. So every single day, this is what you do every day. If you only have an hour a day to grow this business, this is what you need to do. Grow your network and add people. This is the easiest step. Like, we're talking about you press add friend on Facebook. That is not difficult, but for some people, they emotionally feel like that's difficult. Um, you want to explore new platforms. So for me, Instagram is like the most painful thing to grow. So I spend time doing it, but I maximize all my efforts on, um, I'm a beach Beachbody, on Facebook. So every single day, I add five new friends. Grow your network, and here's why. Because in the beginning, your buddies, your mom and dad, and everyone you know in your, in your network that you had on Facebook, they probably will help you get to Success Club 5 here and there. But over time, that your warm market's going to run out. 
And so I find in this business, actually all the new coaches I've signed up, the most successful people and the most excited people are strangers. I swear to you. Most of my friends don't want to touch this with a 10 foot pole. That's all right. They're lost. But, um, so every single day, these are the, um, four things in bold. These are the things that we do. You add to your network every single day. Simple, right? Connect. And I have this in, I put asterisks on the side because this is the most important. This is where the relationship building happens. Be interested. And I want to share an example. She's actually on this call right now. Her name is Stevie. She's a brand new coach for her first team call. I, I came across her on Instagram and then I added her on Facebook because she was cool. I was like, I want this chick on my team. And so what did I do? I let her know that I was interested in her by simply liking and commenting and following her. We have a power of three chart. And you bet her name was on my list because I was like, cool girl, highlight her name, want her on my team. I believe in attraction marketing. So I reached out to her one day and I actually couldn't remember if I knew her from Instagram or Facebook. And I said, hey, I noticed that, you're, that we're friends. Um, your name looks super familiar. And she's like, oh, by the way, I follow you and I think you're so inspirational. Um, long story short, after talking with her for a few more messages back and forth, She's had an amazing transformation with the 21 day fix. I had no idea she even used Beachbody before. She lives in Canada. I've never met her. And all because I was willing to build a relationship and let someone know, Hey, how are you doing today? I think you're awesome. Just like and comment on their stuff. Difficult? No, but she's now on this team and she's going to rock 2016 with us. And I'm pumped. That is the most magical thing in the power of three. And I put the law of reciprocity there because I don't know if you guys know this, but this is like legit science on Facebook. If you like and comment on other people's stuff that tells Facebook, oh, I need to show them your posts. So if you're not liking and commenting on other people's things, the people that you're following are never going to see your posts. There's like literally a science. So that's why doing your power of three is so important. Because if you're touching these people, and by touching I mean Facebook sees a connection somehow by you clicking on their name, Facebook's going to put your posts up in their feed. So relationship building is the most important thing in this business. I've met so many beautiful souls, and I'm so excited for 2016, all because I've been willing to connect. Um, and then the other part with that, all the way at the bottom, your social media keeps this all together. If you're not doing a good job of sharing your journey every single day, your connects and your invites are going to be so painful because they're probably going to be like, who is this person? This is such an awkward conversation rather than because I do such a good, I do a good job every single day of sharing my story. Like when I message Stevie, she's like, oh yeah, I've been following you. I love what you share and I love what you do. I want to know more. That's an easy invite. I'm like, come on, let's talk about it. Um, and I actually wanted to share something I've never shared with you guys before in terms of inviting. So as a new coach and as a coach in general, inviting three people a day is hard. So what if I told you guys that you could actually plan your month, but you have to do your growing your network and connecting first for this to work. You can plan your, your month and plan your invites out based on after you've built the relationship. So if you're doing a good job of adding the people, connecting with them, just being social, not talking about anything icky, just be normal, <laughs> be social, be loving, be giving. Um, then as you create that relationship with them, in your invite uh, power of three chart that you have, Inviting them is going to be a lot less pain, painful, right? Inviting someone who's already cool and talking to you to be in your fitness challenge for the new year probably won't hurt as bad. So stop being so scared of inviting, but make sure that you're growing and connecting first. Your posts and your commitment and your willingness to share actually do the work for you for your invites. That's how I hit success club because people are watching me and then I connect and then it's kind of magical because who doesn't want to be in our challenge groups, right? 
And then the follow-up. This is very important. If you're not organized, you guys need to use the Power of Three tracker that we have that's in your training. You guys will learn more about that when we do the jump start. if you're not familiar with it. But you do need to make lists. Like I have a list right here, list of names. These are the awesome, next awesome people that I want to talk to and share this opportunity with. And I'm going to follow up with them and I do my homework every single day. So the inviting, you can plan that out how you want to. If you want to do it all in a two week period and then take time off to build and connect with more people, go for it. I don't care how you do it, but that's why we talk about the power of three. All right, a few more minutes. I know it's going on an hour. So, <coughs> Ugh, gross. Um, you are your business, not Beachbody. We have a lot of new people on this team, and I think that they're so worried about sharing because they feel like they're gonna start selling, but the promotions don't matter, your website doesn't matter, your current body weight size or shape doesn't matter, the size of your network currently and how many friends you have doesn't matter, your knowledge of this business does not matter. You, I could not even give you guys a training and say, share your journey, show up every single day, and watch your business blossom, and it would. But the thing is, is people don't. People don't do that every single day. Your willingness to show up every single day and share your story is truly what matters. But I mean like with emotion and everything you've got, not just like, did my workout? No one cares that you did your workout. Why are you doing your workout? Um, turning your mess into a message. That is something that has been so powerful for me in my business because Dude, life was hard. <laughs> like, I really turned it around, and I can say thank you a million times to you guys in this business, but I've been able to share with people the struggles I've had and how I've been able to turn them around, and that's my message. So don't think you need to be perfect. I actually prefer that you don't try to be perfect on social media at all. Um, social media is your job, and success leaves clues. And so if I want you guys to go to these four people their social media when you get off. Candace Rogers for our team. Bonnie Engel, E-N-G-L-E. -E. Amy Silverman. And Meredith Ganau. Her last name is spelled G-N-A-U. Candace Rogers, Bonnie Engel, Amy Silverman, and Meredith Ganau. And I want you to see how much of their face you see on social media. I want you to see how or take note of how much of their life you see on social media. And that's why people love to follow them and they're successful, because they're sharing them. It's their face. When I go to Bonnie's um, like page, her business page, not her personal page, almost every picture is a selfie of her and her husband or her dogs or something like that. And that is what people like to see. You might think that selfies are annoying to people, but guess what? They would rather you share your smiling face who's happy about life because of this new thing you're doing rather than the sad, depressing story that was on the news today. Sorry to say it, but people want to see it. Go examine your social media. They want to see your kids. They want to see what you're up to for the day. All right. And then the last thing is kind of just our mission at Dream Corp. So uh, my mission for you is to start dreaming big, set some big goals. And I love leading a happy, healthy life through this opportunity. Take Beach Body away and I kind of feel a little lost, but it's because of the community and it's because I share it unapologetically. And I was finally, I just let myself believe in something that I'd never thought was possible. I had this daydream life that I wanted. I had the type of life I wanted and I watched other people have it and I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to get that. I have no idea. Not possible for me. And I finally just decided to go for it. So um, getting engaged with this community is a must because you start to meet other people who are just like you, who have the same story and same struggle as you. And then you realize, wow, we really are all the same. Just some decide to believe a little bit more. You need to commit to events now. I was going to make this huge fancy slide about the 2017 Success Club trip, but I don't know what it is yet. We find out on Monday, and I please don't make me beg you guys to register for a trip that can be free for you, and even if it wasn't free, you could pay $1,000 for you and a guest to go on this amazing vacation with Beachbody. 
I would still pay for it even if I wasn't able to earn it. And how do you earn it? You hit Success Club. And if you don't hit Success Club every month, because they give you money towards the trip, every Success Club um, point, then you just pay the difference. And so last year I had to like beg my coaches sometimes to register. So on January 4th, they announced the trip and the details and how it all works. And then the registration usually starts a few days after. So that's the type of commitment I'm talking about. Like you get to bring your family on a trip with an amazing company. And that is where you get to meet other people just like you. Um, and then the last thing is trusting the process. So a lot of people are scared of kind of what's ahead and they have a hard time accepting failure and that's really hard for them. But that's something that my coach taught me is trusting the process. She said, Colleen, I can't tell you why you're struggling with this or I can't tell you why this is happening, but I do want you to know that if you trust this process and trust me, meaning her as your mentor, amazing things will happen. And so I decided to, and it's been amazing. And I have all these awesome people here with me. So, wow, there's 42 comments. <laughs> um, does anyone have any questions? Filma had a donut today. <laughs> um, no questions at all. You guys are all pumped for 2016. Overwhelmed? Hopefully not. Um, I'm amped too. So the jumpstart training, um, sorry I had to change it. I know it seems you guys are probably like, Colleen, you're crazy, but Monday is the surge and, whoa, crazy hair. Monday is the surge and that is when the CEO talks about everything awesome for 2016. He announces the trip. And I didn't want that to overlap with our call, so it's going to be on Sunday for the Jumpstart training. But, all right, well, I'll let you guys go. I know that was an hour long, but I'm so excited and I'm so proud of everyone. Um, see you guys later. Have a good night. <laughs>